Hello. In this video, I'm going to be documenting the double jaw plus revision genioplasty surgery that I had at Richardson's Dental and Cranial Facial Hospital September 30th, 2021 in Nagarkoil, India. I'm going to give an honest review of Sinil Richardson and I'm going to tell you what he did do and what he did not do uh, during the surgery and um, from the, the facts that I'm going to lay out in this video you can make up your own decision on whether Sunil Richardson is actually a good surgeon So why did I have double jaw surgery? I had double jaw surgery, number one, to correct my retruded appearance. Uh, both my upper and my lower jaw were retruded about 10 millimeters. Um, I also had, uh, was diagnosed with severe obstructive sleep apnea. Uh, both of those reasons were the main reasons why I had the double jaw surgery. I had a class two, or basically a class one, uh, mal malocclusion, which was a deep bite uh, based on the first frame with a, t a class 2 tr tendency. I had about a 3 millimeter overjet with a 3 millimeter overbite. Uh, my bite was actually very good before the double jaw surgery. Um, and as you probably know, since you're watching this video, one of the main reasons why people get double jaw surgery or its original intent was to correct a bite that cannot be corrected through orthodontics alone. So uh, I had double jaw surgery number one to fix my retruded appearance and number two to cure my sleep apnea. So why did I choose Sunil Richardson? I chose Sinil Richardson for a couple reasons. Uh, the first reason was uh, the years of experience. He has about 20 years of experience and the number of jaw surgeries that he's performed. I followed him on YouTube for about a year or a year and a half before the surgery. I studied his style, how he would mark and cut the bone for the genioplasty um, and it instilled confidence that he could successfully carry out a double jaw surgery. The second reason I hired Sino Richardson, I consulted with a lot of maxillofacial surgeons in the United States and a lot of the plans that they put forward were not aggressive enough for me. Uh, I wanted the most aggressive plan I could get. And out of the surgeons that I consulted with Dr. Anapov's plan in Sacramento, California was the most aggressive. Um, in that plan, my B point would have came forward 15 and a half millimeters. My Pagonian would have came forward 16 millimeters and my lower mandolin incisor would have came forward 12 and a half millimeters. Unfortunately, Dr. Anapov never followed up with me. He never contacted my insurance company. He never contacted my orthodontist and he never contacted me despite me coming out there with all my credit cards wanting and willing to pay for the surgery. Uh, he, Dr. Anapov was my top pick for the surgery. Unfortunately he didn't want me as a patient. One of the reasons, he said he likes operating on virgin, virgin faces. Uh, you know I had a previous genioplasty from Dr. Epley and it was an asymmetrical um, and the genioplasty actually had to be taken back a little three or four millimeters after the counterclockwise rotation of the plan of the double jaw surgery. Um, so those were the two reasons. Number one, I thought Dr. Sunil Richardson was a good surgeon, years of experience, number of surgeries. And number two, I wanted an aggressive plan with a lot of down grafting actually because I consulted with a lot of surgeons in the U.S. and a lot of them uh, didn't like down grafting. Um, in Dr. Anapop's plan, it included a 12, mil 
12 millimeter down graft at the posterior nasal spine actually um, and a lot of surgeons wouldn't do that because of safety and liability purposes so I just wanted a surgeon to basically do what I want to do what I want essentially so what was the surgical plan well viewing the left picture you can see both my mandible and my maxilla are severely retruded but you can also see that my uh, mentin is actually strong excessively strong for the mandible so um, in the left picture I had a previous genioplasty by Dr. Epley um, I had my I had a chin implant actually for 17 years in July of 2020 he removed the Plurex chin implant and he moved the horizontal position of the chin to about the same as it was before which was about five millimeters and I gained about eight millimeters vertical um, but as you rotate you can see my occlusal plane angle is kind of steep it's a little it's a little um, deceptive because my head is angled down but my occlusal plane angle is about 12 to 15 degrees um, so as you rotate counterclockwise you don't want the chin to be in front of the lower lip uh, so that's why part of the plan was to take back the chin four and a half uh, minus 4.2 um, actually minus 4.9 millimeters and down four and a half 4.2 that was a genioplasty. Uh, the maxilla, the anterior nasal spine, was supposed to come forward 6.8, um, and then down two. But actually, he did, as you'll see in the video, he did three or four, which that was fine. Um, and the posterior nasal spine was supposed to come down 12 and a half. Um, I upper midline incisor is supposed to come forward 13 and down 3 and my upper molar was supposed to come forward 10.6 and down uh, 7.9 the mandible movements are just to get the occlusion back but I'll say them anyway my B point was supposed to come forward 15 and a half down 5.3 Pagonian 15.9 down 7.9 upper midline, lower midline sizer 12.3 down 3.3 uh, so those were the um, it was supposed to be a big counterclockwise rotation of the jaw um, and downward movement as well um, and anterior or posterior reduction of the genioplasty and additional down grafting of the genioplasty um, this is what I would call probably a forward grown face or if you want to call it the Chad look you know I think this represents the best possible outcome that I could ask for um, and that's what my goal was for the surgery so I want to get into the results of my double jaw plus revision genioplasty by Sinel Richardson to say the least the results were disappointing little if any advancement occurred to either my maxilla or my mandible um, he did down graft me though he did down graft the maxilla which was part of the plan but not a lot of counterclockwise rotation occurred um, as far as the chin goes he did reduce he brought the chin back three or four millimeters which which is what I wanted and down maybe three four or five millimeters um, he did not resuspend the mentalis muscle correctly I have chin I have a uh, lip ptosis now I'm showing a lot of lower teeth I have to get my mentalis muscle resuspended um, and I feel I was scammed so I want to go slide, uh, slide, uh, slide by slide and show you the results.